All right, so we're back with the Leica Q3, but we do have a new addition to this episode, which is the Tiffin Glimmer Glass 1. Now the idea being that with uh, a glimmer glass filter, you can make the image slightly softer, add some bloomed highlights, which is a look more common to older vintage lenses um, that you typically shoot film with. But because the lens on the Q3 is of course fixed, uh, the only way we can really play with what lands on the sensor is through filters and that sort of thing. So the idea is that I'll get a few different filters, play around, see what I like. Um, coming from film photography, I'm trying to figure out how I can get digital to look the way I want it to. And obviously a lot of that is post-production, which I'm also learning, but another part which I think uh, I really like already is playing with filters like this. Anyway, so yeah, just warming up the shutter button with these first few photos. I saw this parking inspector, he's got this little red goatee and this red bar. And you can see the highlights on his high-vis jacket bloomed out there a bit as well. So that gives you an idea of sort of what the glimmer glass does. I was gonna follow him, but yeah, he didn't end up doing anything interesting. Um, so I was hoping to capture something of the people on me, like coming towards me, but then I realized this family right in front of me uh, <laughs> were dragging their kid along. So I snapped that a bit too late and a bit too close. And you can sort of hear in the background there, there was a car that was just holding his horn on incessantly. So um, yeah, I sort of stopped looking at what I was doing and didn't get any more photos of that. That girl's cool, big fluffy moccasin-like shoes. It is sunny, but it was actually still freezing this day. But it was one of the rare days that we had sun. This guy, some circle things happening there. Um, but yeah, we've just had our shortest day of the year, so no more last light in the city at 4 p.m. <laughs> we'll hopefully have a bit more. But of course, I'm heading over to Europe for two months, so yeah, it'll be completely different by the time I get back. Now this is up in the legal district, so corner of Williams and Burke, and um, yeah, you get a lot more, well yeah, you get amazing sunlight here at this time of the year, but um, you get more sort of professional, like people really dressed up for work, Some guys dress well, some people dressed in suits that don't quite fit them. So I saw this lady in red inside the NAB, the bank here. Um, obviously, uh, big red beacon of a logo and then seeing her she was sort of finishing up with someone so I figured I might try and snap something as she came out. The jacket and the top both matching the NAB red which is pretty cool and then doing the classic Matt Stewart look at your camera look confused pretend to take photos of other things. Now I saw this uh, painter and again just trying to match an element with his big ladder on the lines of the road there. Um, but also I just figured I'd follow him, see if I could get maybe two real business guys and nice suits walking either side of him coming my way or something. If you did notice, I was shooting the lens without the lens hood to see how it goes and what the lens flares look like. And from that previous photo there, you can probably tell that, yeah, the lens flares really blow everything out and I don't actually really like the look of it. Um, so yeah, the lens hood is now back on, but you know, for a test, why not test it out properly? So here again, just trying to add an element, the railing sort of looked like the ladder. You can see that those highlights blooming out on that railing. I absolutely love that look. It's like the crest of a wave in the sun as the mist sort of flies up. There's something about it that just makes me 
feel good. I don't know. <laughs> now this lady, of course, again, amazing. And heading towards the, the bank, so I was checking out who was on the other side of the roads, seeing if there was any other red elements that would be coming towards us, and there was. So I try to get across here to get this lady in red as part of the photo and then this person in the red jacket but yeah they weren't very good photos at all so I figured wait for the bank include that element again it, it's all right but just it is a bank so it's not really I don't know if I could try and find something that wasn't so obviously just a big logo. So then I saw this, which I didn't know this was here. That was a bit far back, but pretty all right. Nothing to write home about, but yeah, amazing outfit. Now I was hanging out here, saw these guys, and then the duct tape and the pole sort of matched, but I got it in too close and I cropped it out. <laughs> but his shirt matches that that tape and the pipe on the left. But um, yeah, would have been a better photo if I included a bit more of it. <laughs> I was just walking down this side in the sun, really just trying to keep warm, even though the people are on the inside of the scaffold. Yeah, perfect blue skies. Oh yeah, and then I saw this, I had to step over it. Pretty gross, but <laughs> someone's like melted ice cream or spilled a coffee. But instead of just letting it evaporate, they figured I'll put some plastic over the top of it, let that wash away into the river system. Genius. But at this point, I the DJI was sort of running low, so I popped that on charge and got the footage all transferring over. And of course, while that was transferring and while I wasn't filming, I got some pretty cool photos. <laughs> this one, um, I like that the car sort of, with its steel wheels, sort of looks a bit older, so this sort of Looks like it could have been taken a while ago already. Sort of film noir look with this uh, cool jacket. I like that one, just simple. And this one with the dots. So the dots are there for blind people um, so they can tell where the road starts. And um, yeah, so that the dot element matches the dots of the dress and then there's some circles on the, the chucks, the shoes there. And then the person at the top left have the same shoes, but big baggy pants so you can't see them. This, I, um, yeah, obviously just trying to link the circles with the headphones and sort of try to make the top of the headphones match with the bar of the window there as well. Um, this photo again with the tradies, trying to link the long line element with the lines on the road and sort of the yellow with the yellow of the light. If they'd been carrying it on the other side, that could have been cool. Um, but you can see here again, so the highlights of that street light shining directly at the camera sort of bloomed out and the top of the pole there as well. Bright highlight against the black background has bloomed out a bit as well. This one's cool. This guy sort of blasted past me, just snapped it. Uh, didn't see him, he sort of came out of nowhere. Um, and yeah, again, the highlights of the car in the background there blowing out. This guy um, having a very animated uh, chat on his phone. I tried to make it look like he was standing on this little fence thing, slightly interesting. Uh, so this is another one where lens hood probably could have made it a bit better. Um, and it's the reason it's in black and white because the colors are just all mush with the, uh, the lens and the filter without any protection, but you know, added more circular elements, so can't really complain. 
For this one, you've got a good uh, juxtaposition. The young person not in business attire with the older, middle-aged person in business attire picture, we'll call it. So this lady, I um, spotted her and then walked back around so I could get these uh, Melbourne information people in the foreground. So they're there a lot, big bright red elements really stand out and I saw, yeah, this lady with her uh, yeah, amazing scarf as another two elements to sort of tie in together. But then as she came into the frame in between them, um, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, six people wearing black puffer jackets. And um, oh, there might even be another one further in the background. But anyway, I really like the people on the right. So they've got like the exact same pose. Their arms are in the same position. Their legs are in the same position. They're wearing the exact same clothes, almost have the exact same haircut. And um, the strap on that bag says not ordinary but it's uh, folded in with the buckle there. So that's sort of a bit ruined, but if that, you know, said not ordinary and she's wearing the exact same clothes as everyone else in the frame, apart from this amazing vision of red in the middle, that could have made it a bit cooler as well, but I like that photo. Again, just matching elements, colors, shapes, that sort of thing. That's what I like to do. Having fun with the camera, still can't really believe I own it. Don't have to change film, just change a battery like once a day. Pretty, pretty amazing. This guy had been rubbing his eyes really hard, when I was ages away. But then as I walked up, hoping that he'd do something else, he did something else, so that was cool. And um, so these guys got my attention. This kid jumping up and down. Um, him and his dad sort of wearing almost the exact same tracksuit. And he kept leaning over him as well. And I was thinking, you know, potentially I could get a photo where it sort of looked like dad had multiple arms or two heads or something. And I was just hoping that something else would come into the frame. Because there's these two people on the left that are having a chat there as well. The skater came up, got a cool little shine off his key here in this photo. Again, little bloomed highlight shining directly at the lens, which is pretty uh, epic. Um, the second one's just a bit more balanced because it blocks out that other guy that's sitting up near the flower stand. But again, nothing too interesting happening with the father and son. But again, if the kid had you know, wrapped his arms around a bit differently or something, or his face had been in the sun or something. That could have been really cool. But that was about it. Um, it was a perfect day to test out the, the Glimmer Glass Q3 combo. Uh, let me know what you think, I really like it. Um, and like I said, I'm off to Europe, so if you wanna follow along, I'll be uploading weekly, like, subscribe. And uh, if there's anything you think I should Give a give a whirl, let me know. Cheers. That's hella weird. <laughs>